And once you're done, you can preview it. Look, blue, green, yellow, red, blue, green, yellow, blah, blah, blah. Hit down on it, hit down on it, hit down on it, hit down on it. All right. Well, it looks like I have a bit of time, so I'll do the rest of the lesson. So, <clears throat> once you have the buttons done, you can go into the content layer. Now, you want to keep this layer open. You don't want to type anything or anything like that in there. In frame 5, you're going to want to go up to here, the properties window. You're going to want to label it whatever your first button's name is. So, red. You'll notice that a flag shows up in the name of my layer shows up. You'll need that for later. Do it to the rest of your frames. And I forgot to do this, but because I have four buttons, I need f another one of these, so gonna have to press F5 on frame 25 for each frame. Uh, I apologize, but I totally forgot about that. So now you got each of these little key keyframes and all that in there. You'll want nothing here because you're gonna want to start out with nothing. Now, on this content layer, <coughs> we are going to insert with our text tool a uh, use different text just to differentiate maybe a little smaller something red so I'm just doing text for right now we're gonna do pictures at a different time uh, for the sake of time alright just you know I'm gonna type in Apples. It's not the type. It's not what I wanted. Oh wow. Okay. There we go. Look, apples are red. Well, we're going to make it red. Now, go to frame 10, your other labeled frame. You'll notice that the red apples is gone. Now we're going to insert something that is blue. So if I go here, what's blue? Hmm. Uh, having a hard time, let's see. What's blue, what's blue up? Let's go with Popsicle. No. How about... Uh, balloons. Cool. Now we got that down. And we're going to frame 15. We're going to insert something that is green. Uh, Kermit the Frog. Yellow. We're going to insert something that is yellow. Uh, okay. Lemons. It'll be a little hard to see. I apologize. But now you've got a different thing for each button, basically. But not quite yet. We're going to select the first frame in action layers. We are going to open up our actions window, which is up here. It'll open up a new window that looks like this. Now, before we do anything with this window, crap, uh, there we go. Before you do anything in this window, 
we are going to preview and you notice how the things keep flashing well that's because we haven't really limited the actions of these buttons yet so what we're going to do is we're going to type in stop parentheses semicolon now we're going to go to preview and look at that no more flashing but our content is no longer visible we're going to fix that in a bit skip down a couple lines and this is where the magic of flash begins once you can once you learn coding basically anything's possible in flash as long as you can design it well we're going to type in okay if you've been following me then this part will be a little easy if you've been improvising and typing in your own stuff then you might need a little help and you might want to try and improvise but red underscore btn dot now we're going to add remember this code and you'll know that something's right you'll know that this is working if it's in blue I obviously didn't because I'm an idiot and not looking at my own screen but we can preview now now that stop down here in the timeline that stop is the A over the frame little keyframe that little A is the stop action so basically when you preview it it'll stop right on that frame so it stops on that frame and because we had the red B, red underscore btn it'll affect the red button and the on red means on this red frame so when you click on red it'll take you to the red frame you may get confused but if you get this down things get a lot easier believe me now you can go ahead and do this with the other buttons let's see if that works it should good all right so you can go ahead and do that to all of your buttons And I'll mention this again, and I'll probably mention it in later lessons. Spelling is key when you're doing code. You mess up once, like I did, and you'll get confused, and you'll start whining, and you won't know what's going on. So once you have the coding in for all four buttons, and your flash can do this, and you've completed this lesson. Congratulations. And that's the end of this lesson.